Okay, I'm actually so mad because it's freezing out and it's raining and all my warm clothing is wet. It is cold out this morning. I'm still wearing my sleeping bag. It's kind of misting out also. Um, but it's only like 45 and yesterday it was like 35, so that's a big difference. I just walked in that field and all the grass is frozen. So I'm in Palastere. I walked 8K today, it's like 10 a.m. And I'm going to my favorite supermarket because they have it and I see it right there. Dia is the best Spanish market for all you people who are wondering. Also, I need to find headphones because they are my lifeline on this trip, just in general. And I have like 10 more days and I need them. <laughs> and I, I have my, my original pair works a little bit. If I, like one side works if I hold the plug part in my phone, but that's very annoying to do and I don't want to do that for the rest of my time here. And the ones I broke, or the ones I bought for three euros completely broke, so. So I bought the good yogurt this time, not the gross kind. And now I'm just sitting here in this little kitty corner in these tiny chairs, eating it. I just went on the search for headphones for like literally 30 minutes around the city and I found these and they're kind of expensive, but it's a good, they'll last me a long time. And the lady said they were good quality. So that's good. Also that guy I showed a minute ago is definitely on the Camino. Like he has hiking boots and a hat and flip flops tied to his bag and stuff. But he's wearing a literal briefcase on his head and I'm like isn't that uncomfortable and like everyone does weird things I see all the time and like I wear a sleeping bag every day but I mean it's just like interesting so it's like an hour and a half later and I'm finally leaving Palace de Rey because I spent like well I like searched for food bought food ate food walked around looked for headphones bought headphones tried to figure out how to use them you know so I've been just chilling in that city like all morning I feel like and now I'm leaving hello puppy On the trail, literally all the time, people will be asking for donations and have like petition things for us to sign and everything. And it's fine, but it's kind of annoying because it's like all the time and I'm like, um, okay. But I always give people like one or two euros, like I don't really care, it's not that much, so it's fine. But this lady, I was just in the zone, you know, enjoying my walk and then this lady, I saw her targeting everyone walking ahead of me and I was like, oh no. And then she walked up to me and had a clipboard and a bunch of papers and then just handed it to me and didn't even say anything. And I was like, um, okay, so I'm like reading it. And it was something about like deaf children or something. I didn't really understand that much of it. So I'm like, it was like deaf children petition. And I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, whatever. Don't really know what it's about. So then I'm like filling out this whole form. It's a whole page of stuff that's fell out. And I'm like, okay, so I'm just standing here on the trail, everyone's passing by me. And I'm like filling out my name, address, where I started, where I'm hiking to, where my, where I'm from, like all this stuff, and I just sign it, and then I'm like walking away, I'm like, okay, thanks, bye. After like three minutes, probably like not even that long. And then she's like, donation, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, sure. So I'm pulling out my money, and I'm like thinking I'm gonna give her like two euros or something. And then she's like, okay, and gives me a paper, and it's like, you have to check 10, 20, or 50. And I'm like, um, no, no, sorry. Like, can I give like just two? And she's like, no, 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 no. And then she's like, getting mad. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, okay. And then I just walked away, because I was annoyed. And I'm like, I'm not even being rude. Well, I mean, like, kind of rude, but not really because I'm like, okay, first of all, the lady didn't even say anything to me. She just handed me a paper and I was like, um, what do you want me to do with this? Like, she didn't explain. She didn't say her name or, like, say what it's for. She, and I mean, maybe because she didn't think I spoke Spanish, which is fine, but, like, why would I sign it if I couldn't speak Spanish and I couldn't read it? Well, I didn't read it anyways, really, but, like, whatever. I was, like, kind of annoyed that she just, like, handed me a paper and expected me to do something with it. So I was like, I am not. Like, maybe if she had really convinced me, I would have given her 10. But I'm like, okay, I'm spending 10 euros a day in total, so why would I give you my daily spending for this random thing? And also, I thought I was being nice because everyone ahead of me didn't even, like, she tried to stop them and they just kept walking and ignored her. So I was like, oh, I'll be nice and I'll sign her thing. Like, I'll take a few minutes out of my day to sign her thing. And I didn't realize that she would be asking for... 10, 20, or 50 euros. And I totally get why those people target the Camino because it's a lot of like foot traffic and stuff, so it's a good idea, I guess. I mean, I don't know, it's kind of annoying, but it's not a big deal because it is not often really, but it's like, and I like when people have stands set up a lot of times and then they'll hand out like water or lemonade or something and then I will donate in exchange for that. And I love that because it's like a little symbiotic thing they got going on there because they're giving something to us and then that makes me feel more compelled to give them money or like give them my time. But I'm like, if some random lady approaches me and gives me a clipboard, no. There's a really nice looking field here that I want to chill in, but there's barbed wire, so I'm gonna attempt to like climb under it to get here. I had this realization yesterday that I'm actually in no hurry whatsoever. Like I can get to my albergue at any time. 
I can go wherever I want, whenever I want. For some reason, I was feeling stressed for like a week about trying to finish quickly and like pushing myself. And it's so stupid because I like got these blisters and like didn't even get anywhere. And then I had to end up waiting for my friends. That's what I wanted to do anyways. So it's just not really worth it. And I'm so glad I'm just chilling now. Like, it, like I can literally, like yesterday I took an hour break just sitting in a field and like reading and writing. And I was like so content. And I still got to my albergue at a fine time. Well, because I didn't walk very far, but it's like, there's no point it isn't about the destination it's about like enjoying the walk and enjoying the process and I'm like that's what the Camino is about and I realized that I had a point of realization similar like a few weeks ago and then I kind of let it go and I'm having a re-realization <laughs> so yeah I need to enjoy the journey because that's what it's all about the destination does not matter at all usually there's water like everywhere like every city which is like once an hour to refill so I never worry about drinking water but for the past few days since Saria there are no water fountains and so I have to be careful about how much water I'm drinking and I'm out of water right now and I have been and it's like so hot out <sighs> and I'll be in my city in like an hour or so that kind of sucks that they are limiting the water so blister update that this morning I literally thought I was going to walk in crocs because or like barefoot I was actually considering it because they hurt so badly last night after the guy messed with them and then this morning they were really hurting and I was like I can't walk with my friction with my boots but then I was like okay no because it's, it's like rocky and it's kind of hard hiking this phase so I was like okay I need to wear my boots so I wear my boots and they like really hurt but it's fine because after like 20 minutes or so I get used to it then I keep taking breaks today so then like during the break it feels better obviously because I'm not walking and then when I start walking again I have to wait 20 minutes to get I like to forget about it or to get used to it, the pain. The ones, I have four on my toes and those ones are really fine, but I have this really big one on my heel that hurts a lot. It's like the size of a quarter and it is not healing. Like it have it, I've had them all for a few days and that one, the other ones are like, they look a little bit better or like, I don't know, they're not as big. And the one on my heel is so like it is, I don't know if it's infected, but it is very hurting. I found water. So it's very obvious who the new hikers are who came in um, at Saria because of all their new gear, like I was saying, and like their clean shoes and just the way they're talking to people and interacting with each other and they're asking all these questions because they don't know what the Camino's about and stuff, which is fine. Like a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, all these new people, these cheaters who come in and just hike the last 100K and I'm like, okay, but people don't have 30 or 40 days to take out of their regular lives. So it's cool that they're like hiking a little bit of it and getting a little bit of the experience, you know, but it is totally a different experience, I'm sure. Well, I know it is. And like, I don't have a problem with them. But then this lady yesterday, when I was getting help with my blisters on the streets, she was a new hiker for sure. She had her little day pack on and it was like all new. And then she had her clean hiking boots. And I was like, you're definitely new. And she had a Camino hat. So that's like super touristy. And I was like, no, no. And she came over to me and she was like, oh, honey, your backpack is too heavy. Like, I'll help you empty it out. And are you new to hiking? And I was like, whoa. I was so offended. I was like, first of all, your backpack's too heavy, which is why you mailed it ahead. Because you're cheating with your day pack. And no, I've actually been walking on this trail for over four weeks. And you just came in like 10K ago yesterday. 